So do's and don'ts of heat pumps. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it is important, particularly with air source heat pumps, to carry out insulation and air tightness improvements beforehand. Um, make sure that the heat pump is optimized to the UK climate. Uh, you know, any good heat pump installer will, will sort of only recommend heat pumps which are which are right for for your 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 house and your area um, but it, it is important that because otherwise you've got them if they have to constantly defrost because they're not optimized for the UK climate then they use more and more electricity um, yeah this is quite important actually to check your sort of the amount the your electrical capacity because heat pumps actually require they require a lot of electricity um, and if you're installing anything if you're installing more than sort of a 15 kilowatt heat pump then actually that actually needs its own supply of single phase electricity um, so it's you know most people have sort of 100 amp amps coming into their into their house and um, you just have to be quite careful that once you've got your heat pump running and you know if you've got a if you've got an electric cooker and you've got your, your car charging or you've got your kettle boiling, it's really important that you know you, things aren't going to trip because there's too, there, there are too many thing, things drawing on that electrical load. So, um, you know, lots of people, I mean, it is possible to, to upgrade your, um, your electrical load, but, you know, that's another additional expense. So it's something that you've got to think about early on. Um, they do require a hot water tank and other equipment. And we've, I'll probably leave that up to Tim to um, may, tell us a bit more about that. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you're, if you're switching from a combi boiler to a heat pump, um, you have to be aware of the fact that you've got to have enough, you've got to have enough space within your house for a hot water tank. Um, uh, there are some sort of smaller versions now which combine the, the sort of heat, the condenser and the hot water tank. Um, but in general, um, you know, you need a bit of space. Um, well, I think I've covered, you've got, make sure you request running cost estimates. And again, in conservation areas, just, just check the rules. Um, a lot of conservation areas will, you know, they'll allow um, heat pumps as part of permitted development, but, but, you know, it's always good to just check, double check that. Um, and then, uh, the don'ts of heat pump. So I really wouldn't go for the cheapest quote on a heat pump. I think the design and the installation is absolutely key to good performance. Um, and actually, the um, the Energy Saving Trust did a did a um, research project over a, about six years, working out, um, you know, in investigating how heat pumps were performing relative to what they said they did on the packet, um, and um, some of them massively underperformed and some of them actually quite significantly overperformed and the the conclusion was that a lot of that time that was down to how they had been installed uh, so i think it's really important that you make sure you go for somebody who really know who's done it quite a lot and they really know what they're talking about um, yeah be careful not to undersize your hot water tank because it is it takes longer to a heater a, a tank of water using a heat pump than it does um, using gas or oil so so just watch for that one um, yeah make sure it's it's much more efficient if the heat pumps located close to the plant room um, and I'm sure no one would do this but don't buy online and install yourself you've got you need those you need your installer to be M MCS registered in order to get the grants and and everything 